Hello dolls, welcome back to me channel. This is Ebony Nikita, the Dominican princess. So right here I have the High Mirror Mini. I got this six months ago. So I have enough time to really just play, experiment, and test out all of the great features. This High Mirror, it just seems like it is your beauty sidekick because of course it is definitely a glamorous type of tool that we can use in our beauty routine. But at the same time, it does cost money. I spent my own money on this, or should I say, my, my husband spent his money on this, so, which is my money. So I want you dolls to know whether or not if it's worth the buy. So I'm able to give you an unbiased, honest review on the High Mirror Mini. So before we get started dolls, go ahead and subscribe to me if you aren't already. I am a fashion and femininity YouTuber and blogger. So of course I have a blog post coordinating with this review and demo. This is something that us feminine ladies out there love. We love when makeup, we love skincare, we love taking care of ourselves. So this is just pretty much right up my alley. Now with all of my episodes, all of my videos here on YouTube, I always have a coordinating blog post, so a written review and demo, and it will definitely be a little bit more detailed than this video. And I will be giving you all something special, something secret, something that you won't find here in this video on my blog post. So definitely check that down below. And don't forget to subscribe to my blog and also to my YouTube channel. The most used feature for me on the high mirror is definitely the actual mirror. The fact that it does have five different lighting settings is amazing for me, simply because you want to know how you look in different settings. Not all lighting is the same. Not every place has the same one lighting. So to me, that feature alone made me want to buy the high mirror. So you are able to take live pictures here on this mirror. So you're able to really just utilize the camera and just seeing, okay, how does my eye makeup look whenever my eyes are closed? How do I look from the side? You're able to basically pause the camera so you can be able to utilize that feature. And you can always go closer, magnify it so it's further away, closer. And that's just what I love about it. I think that right there, if a high mirror only had that feature, I would probably just buy it just because of that. It's just very convenient. It's very versatile. And it just gives you those type of features that you don't find on everyday type of mirror. Simply, I just don't put on makeup without using the mirror. I just can't do it. I won't do it. I refuse to do it. And another great thing about this mirror is the size. It fits so perfectly on my vanity. If you have a desk or if you do have a vanity, it's not in the way. It's not too big. It's not bulky. The size, the stand, the base, it's just all very nice, convenient, and it's lightweight. So you don't have to kind of hold it around. It does have a cord and a big compact back. So that is something that you do have to consider. To me, it doesn't bother me. I just kind of move the cord around if I need to. It doesn't really ever get in my way. And it also does have a charging port. The second time that I use my high mirror the most is just whenever I want to watch YouTube, but I have to charge my phone. Honestly, that's literally what I use it for second. It gives you a pretty nice display and it's just convenient. I do want to put on my, my makeup while charging my phone, but I still want to watch YouTube. I can do this on here because it does have a dual screen. That to me is probably the most convenient thing on here other than the different lighting settings. And so now we are going to get into the different features that we have on here. High mirror, it does have another feature on here to where you can buy separate tools to basically enhance your use of the high mirror which would be the high skin and the body of fitness. If you're really trying to focus on improving your skin, just trying to see if a product is actually working, that is why the skincare analysis is perfect for you. You get to track the progress of your skin in so many different features. You get to see the dark spots, the redness, the fine line, wrinkles, 
pores, the texture of your skin. All of that is just such great features, especially if you're trying to focus on your skin. It will analyze your skin. So it's going to show you, yes, you have more fine line. It's going to pinpoint those itty bitty little details that's on your face. That's something that you have to prepare yourself for if you are not used to simply putting a microscope to your skin because that's one of the best features about the high mirror just knowing that the high mirror can tell you what product is working how's your skin doing over time that is something that is so great and so useful the beauty box is great because you get to scan all of your different beauty products that you are using and you get to scan it and if you don't have that original packaging or that barcode, you can always just look it up on here. You can put the expiration date on there. You can actually track how well that product is doing for your skin, which is amazing. Being able to know, okay, this product has been working for me this much or this product isn't giving me the results that I really want or it's not doing as good as I thought it would be doing that saves you money and it saves you and it allows you to navigate through your skincare journey a lot better. Oh, and the high mirror, it does have Alexa. It just popped up. <laughs> Some of the apps that they do have on here would be Pandora, Google Chrome, Instagram, Spotify, YouTube. They also do have Skin Safe, which is really amazing. You cannot download new apps onto your high mirror or at least I have not seen that feature to, to do so. It does tell you the time, the day, the weather, and it does give you really great tips. Right now it's giving me a tip on eczema, it tells you about sunscreen. So to me, that's a really cool feature. It's just like a tablet. And then also it gives you your daily horoscope, which is pretty cool if you are into that. The makeup studio is a really great feature. I love trying out different lipstick shades, different eyeshadow combinations, and just sometimes making myself look a little crazy. But I really do love it for whenever I'm trying to find that perfect shade of red that looks best on me or a purple lipstick. It really is just a fun time just to try on makeup virtually without wasting makeup. If you put on real makeup in real life, then you can always take a picture through Makeup Studio and save it so you'll know what products you used and how that makeup had looked on you. So now let's go over the downsides of the high mirror. These are the cons, something that needs improvement, something that needs to be changed, something that I just simply don't like. It does go a bit slow at times. And so I'm saying this because that is pretty much my biggest complaint about this. It's just simply that it's not as quick as your iPhone and logging in. So let's say that I do log in and I do my face ID and then it loads. It literally takes such a long time to load and pop up all of the apps. So that is something that I think that they definitely should improve. My high mirror is already updated. It automatically updates, which is great. So you don't have to click on, on anything. I would say another con for the high mirror would be that you cannot use certain apps without Wi-Fi. So right now mine is not connected to my Wi-Fi. So if I do want to go on my beauty box, it won't, there we go. Hey, if I do want to go on my beauty box, <laughs> It won't load up any of my past products because it says it's unable to connect to a server right now. Please try again later. If your Wi-Fi isn't set on here or if you did shut off your high mirror and then turned it back on, you're going to have to physically go into settings, reconnect to the Wi-Fi and then use all of your different apps. Even though I don't mind the cord, overall it would be nice if it was either battery power, powered, but I don't know if it would perform as well. I know for certain technology and certain pieces, you know, it has to have something plugged into it. So if this was either a longer cord or just cordless, then I think that would be great, but it's not that big of a deal to me. It's just like, yeah, I would like it if either the cord was longer or if it was cordless. So just like having a tablet, you are eventually going to get fingerprints on it and you are going to eventually have to wipe it down. So that's just like a little care guide for you dolls out there. I feel like those are my only cons for the high mirror. A really good question that I think can wrap up the whole entire cons and downside list 
is would all of the cons stop me from purchasing the high mirror mini and i would honestly have to say no it wouldn't stop me from buying it simply because now that i've experienced a couple of the cons to me it's not that big of a deal it's minor things that could be approved that should be improved but it doesn't hinder me from all of the other great features on there you just get so much in this little package and it's the perfect size it's compact there's just so much you can do with it and i feel like it's really worth the price if you're more into skincare they have great features on here just for skincare if you're more into makeup they have equally the amount of features just for makeup there's just something for everyone if you are that girl who loves makeup i cannot imagine you not having the high mirror mini you look up any other type of light up mirrors it just doesn't compare to what the high mirror can do thank you dolls so much for joining me in this episode where i gave you an honest demo and review on the high mirror mini i think that i would personally recommend it to any of my friends out there so of course i would recommend it to all of you dolls out there definitely don't forget to look at my blog post where I give you dolls more details, a little bit more tips, a little bit more something special on there. So go ahead and click the link down below. And don't forget to subscribe to me. I post two times a week and I am just very excited to have you dolls a part of the dollhouse. And I hope that you dolls enjoyed this episode.